What's up everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, today's topic is uh, selecting your moderators for your channel. Uh, this is a viewer requested uh, topic, so uh, it's actually a tough one. This is a tough one. The question is, how do you go about selecting your mods? What do you look for in a mod? Um, yeah, those two things. Uh, so for those who don't know, let's talk about what a moderator does. Um, a moderator in, in a Twitch chat is there to just keep an eye on things. If somebody gets out of hand, sort of, you know, pull them into line. If they need to ban them, they'll ban them. Um, mods will also do shout outs if somebody comes in with a beautiful raid. You know, you can give out a, a shout out. Um, so it's admin, right? It's an admin, admin type of role. Um, and yeah, they're there to support the streamer. So that's the role. Uh, now, what I look for in an ad, in a in a moderator is somebody who's part of the community, someone who's been around for a while, and knows me, and knows my where my lines are, as in you know what what's okay, what's allowed, and then what is sort of pushing the boundaries, and knows when and where to draw that line and then deal with it. The vast majority of moderation happens automatically with bots. So it's more the support side of things. Um, we do, we've got an in-channel currency. If I do a giveaway and then I want to give somebody some currency, you know, I can do it really quick, but the mod can just do it in their own time um, while I'm continuing with whatever we're doing. So the mods will take over that responsibility if they're there. So what do you look for in a mod? Like I say, somebody who's part of the community, who knows who knows you, and somebody that you, you trust, that you've, you know, you've spoken to in, you know, a lot, and, and you trust that they understand where the lines are, they're not there to abuse the power, they're not there to big note themselves because they've got mod. A lot of people have asked me for mod. As soon as you ask me for mod, you're never getting a mod ever. It's, you know, why would you, why do you want to be a mod? What's the purpose? You know, for me, I always look at it as I'm imposing something on, on the people who are mods and I'm asking them for a favor. It's one of those things where I'm asking them to do additional work when they're just trying to relax and enjoy the stream. You know, these aren't paid people. They're just there and I ask them if they want to help out. So I try and avoid uh, the, the, I try and take as much off them as I can so they can sit back and actually enjoy. They want to be, that's why they turned up in the first place, right? Um, so when somebody asks, can I be a mod? It's like, nah. Because generally there's an agenda there. You're asking to be a mod because you want to, what, abuse the power? Um, big note yourself that you're, in a, you're a moderator, you know, there's, so I, I don't know why people want to be a mod, um, you know, sure there's people that want to support the stream and help out where they can, and that's different to somebody random who just pops in and says, can I be a mod, which, which surprisingly happens. So be very careful with people who um, aren't really part of your community, aren't sort of a, a regular that, that knows what's going on in the stream. The other thing to be aware of is when people donate and then ask to be a mod, it's a really weird dynamic, that one as well. Um, if people donate and then, you know, you appreciate the donation, thanks very much, you, you know, you say all that, and then they say, oh, can I be a mod? It's like, no, well, no. Um, and then it's like this weird thing that they've purchased the right to be a mod. And, and it's really weird. Again, what is the purpose? Um, what do they want to do with that mod? Is it just the notoriety to say, I'm a mod in X channel? Uh, if that's the case, I mean, that's that's not the purpose of it. So keep a, keep an eye on those people and just, you know, in, if it were me, I'd just reject them out of hand because that's just not the point of it. So for my channel, uh, I have uh, three mods who are regulars and they're in, um, they're ones in Australia, ones in Canada and ones in Sweden. Yes, I think I'm going to get in trouble for that. Sorry, Adam. Um, so... <laughs> That's a good one. Anyway, so the time zones are very different and they overlap, which means throughout my stream, there's always one of them, one of them will be hanging around. Some days, none of them are there and that's fine. Um, so there's three regular mods and then I have uh, another three or four um, non-regular mods who just sort of pop in and out. It used to be regular and then they're not regular. So you want to have a couple that are regular. Depending on your length of your stream, you know, you, you just want coverage. You want somebody there throughout your stream as best you can. Some days there's nobody there and that's fine. You can deal with it, it's not that big a deal. So I've got a few people that were regulars, now they're not regulars and that's fine. And the other thing is when people are mods and they, um, you know, circumstances changes, they change, they can't be there anymore. 
that's fine. For me, that's fine. Uh, I've had mods come and say, oh, look, I'm really sorry I can't make it. It's like, don't worry about it, dude. You know, whenever you make it, you make it. That's, you know, I don't want to impose because they're doing me a favour. Um, I don't want them to feel obligated to be a mod. Uh, and so they just, when they pop in, they pop in, you know, and I don't ask them a lot. So keep an eye on what you're asking of your mods. They're, you know, they are volunteers at the end of the day. Um, and you know, you've got to respect their time. And if they're there to enjoy the show, you still want them to enjoy the show and be part of the community. So try and take off as much of the burden um, as, as you can. The other thing is you don't want to have a whole bunch of mods in the chat. Uh, if, you're, if you're a relatively small channel, say you've got, um, you know, a regular five, seven viewers somewhere there and four people are mods, you know, it's too much. Everybody's a mod. There's just mods talking to each other. Um, so that's not the purpose either, but like, you know, if scale your mods uh, appropriately for your channel size. Like I say, I've got on average 200, let's call it 200 viewers um, on average. And I've got, like I say, three regular mods, but there'll only be one in there, maybe two, depending on crossover uh, as the day progresses because of time zones. You know, you don't need to have 100 mods and don't use it as a reward tool either. Uh, I don't think it's an appropriate thing as a reward. There are people who support you. Now there's a new VIP um, tag. Mods can't be VIPs. Don't use mods as a reward to say, thank you for your support, you're a mod now. That's, that's not what it's for. So yeah, use the VIP for that. And I've done that as well. I've got people who support the channel, uh, go above and beyond. I mean, we've got a lot of support, but people go above and beyond and I give them the VIP. I'm not gonna give them mod um, because mod comes, mod is putting them to work. And I've already got people that, I, that I've got full coverage. I don't need additional mods. So I'll give them a VIP and that's, that's it. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty much that's it. So I'm look, like I say, let's wrap this up. It's uh, people that you trust. People that know your content and know uh, where you find lines and, and where, you know, where the line is and not to cross it. Yeah, don't have 20 mods, right? Have one mod, two mods. Um, and if they're, if they're unable to be there, that's fine. Uh, get another mod, right? Have some coverage. So you don't want to have 10 mods in at one time, but you may have 10 mods and they might come in for half an hour each, you know, whatever the case may be. Just try and find your coverage. And ideally you want to have people who do turn in regularly so you don't have 20 mods, but um, you know, that, that's not the way the world works and people drop off and people come back. Yeah, keep, keep those sort of things in mind. I think that kind of covers a topic. I hope. Um, anyway, friends, I'm going to leave it there. If that doesn't cover it, please let, uh, hit me up in the comments below. I'll try and elaborate. I think I've got it all. Anyway, guys, um, I will see you all on the next video. Thank you so much for checking it out. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Uh, leave a comment. The comments actually help um, it trigger this video. So be sure to leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. And um, I'll see you all on the next one. Take it easy. Bye for now. And before we go, just want to say a big shout out to my mods who are absolutely awesome. Love you guys. Couldn't do it without you. You're the best.